welcome to another Tabless Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today I want to look at this. We have a new product, which are these fantastic feather pattern bars. And I wanted to showcase them in this little project uh, of how you can use them and how to make a lovely little trinket dish using a little bit of pattern bar. And in this case, lots of tecta. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make these. So for this project, we've cut um, two layers of glass, one tecta and one colored to the length of the feather. We want to kind of just have the feather as a, um, a piece in the middle now. Well, you could literally just put the feather on top and full fuse it. Um, I'm going to decide to, I've just um, drawn around the feather. Oh, shouldn't do that at the end of the glass, guys. And you should be wearing glasses if you're cutting. And then I'm breaking out the shape of the feather. And then I'm just going to put it on like so and then it will fire like that the feather is sticking up a bit but there is space for it to kind of means it, the space for it to flow in to um the void left between the glass so that one can go in full fuse and then we'll do the same with the one that we're just doing completely transparent so again we will um mask uh draw around cut and then they can both go in for a full fuse so just before these two go in the kiln, we've put a covering of clear powder on top of the pattern bar, which will help um, make it a bit more shiny because with a tile saw, uh, you can get tile saw marks. And so it's better just to put some clear powder over the top of any pattern bar before you're using it. So here are these out of the kiln. Now guys, I did a stupid thing. I didn't clean the, um, these well. You, as well as putting, um, uh, some um, uh, clear on top you also need to give them a really good clean um because uh you know they've been around the tile saw and although i will wash them um it's always good to give them a clean and even a, a scrub with vinegar so do that um i am going to sandblast the side of this this side and then flip them both and slump them here so this one will be a bit um uh kind of translucent it will have a kind of um a, a finish on it um so that the where it's gone cloudy won't be quite so obvious um, i'm not going to worry about it on this one because i don't think it shows as much when it's like this because of the colored glass but i will slump it um this way up so i'm going to get the sandblasted get them in the kiln to slump and we can have a look at them when they're done so here these are out of the kiln. Um, we have put bumpers on the bottom. You can see it still feels nicely satin and smooth and, um, with the sand blasting on this side. Um, slumping is always funny. You can see where we've got the bumpers that it's not slumped directly straight into the mold. I've got to say, I didn't check my levels. I didn't put a level on my molds when I put them in the kilns, which I should have done. I was rushing and I forgot. So that will always affect it. If your kiln happens to be at a slight angle and you don't, it's always good to have a little um, level to check your levels um, when you put before you you know put the mold in and check the levels and you can always use a bit of um, fiber paper to lift one side of the mold or another to make it flat which I forgot to do with this so they haven't slumped as evenly as I like but I think they still work really well I'm really happy with them I hope you've enjoyed this video it gives you an idea of how to make something with these beautiful new feather pattern bars we have and um, I hope that you like this idea and we'll take it and do something else with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know you can get all our products at www.tabletsglassemporium.com and I look forward to seeing you next time.